Okay, everyone, so before we begin, product provided by Rock Game SA, so I figured why not? I make sure I check if it's updated and whatnot, all right? Yeah, you're going to be seeing these showcase videos because I got two of them. First is this, and then this. So, I figured if games need the exposure, there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to a showcase of a different sort. This is Thea 2, The Shattering. And if anybody asks, I do this because I want to. And the fact that I finished Sonic Colors and I'm about to do other things. Jeez, I'm going to be starting the Resolve, though. Yeah, this was developed by Muha Games. It's loading... Loading mods? Why would I need to load mods, though? And for some reason, it kind of reminds me of Divinity Original Sin 2. I don't know why, but it just does. It's initiating the skill library. This is going to take a while, so yeah. I hope this is to your liking at least, because, well, I need to actually start adding some variety to my channel. And the fact that since many of you guys are back at school, you'll also notice why the video uploads are a bit later than it should. The only exception being that I need to get all of the Final Fantasy II Pixel Remaster done. So if you notice those shorter videos at 12 noon, not getting much in terms of viewership, yeah, that's why. Is it really taking this long just to load up? Okay, now it's moving in. It's always weird seeing like a con seeing a game that's on PC be doing for consoles. Very weird. I got no complaints with it per se, because if it means I can enjoy a game like that, I'm down with it. Okay, this is Thea 2 The Shattering, and it comes with the free DLC, Wrath of the Sea. Let's check our settings. You have your gameplay, auto and turn during challenges. Not really much. So yeah, let's get started. We'll do the single player and we'll start a new game. And you have a choice of different gods. You have Sturbog. I was once a spirit of the winds, free, wild, and untamed. But I heard the call of a cosmic tree as the earth crumbled beneath it. I was called by my brothers and sisters. I was called by my people who raised their hands to the sky and asked for good winds. I am now the god of the journey, a pathfinder, a path giver and guide. Come with me into the winds and know true freedom. Then you also have other gods that are rock, like Zoria, Maravit, Lada, Hors, Svivania. Wow, these are actually interesting. There's also Sparag, Makash, Triglav, and Nia. For the sake of this, I will be using Strebog, because why not? And this is where you assign traits. You assign traits to your deity, and each card represents a trait. You can mix and match traits from characters and bonuses. I see. Characters, bonuses. Mine will just auto select. Makes it easier. And here is your gods chosen. You can decide. The character will be important to the quest line. The chosen can be of any class, including any additional characters you may have selected. You have six classes to choose from. You have. After. Why not? I'll just name myself Destiny. Because that's a name that suits me. And you can also shape the world. 
also shade the world side. Nice. But all of this is just making me intrigued. But hey, if a game needs exposure, they're gonna get it. And I promise them, they'll get it. Surface of the gods. As I am a believer myself, I am happy to be the one to guide you. Theodore's the name, but little old me is not relevant here. You are. I am here to tell you of some basic rules and hand over any divine objects that may have been bestowed upon you. First and foremost, the cosmic seed. Wait, cosmic seed? Yes, the earth is far from a land of prosperity. Darkness was defeated long ago, but it is not gone. It lurks in the corners and attacks at night. The shattering tears the earth asunder, and a scorching light takes hold of folk without protection. The seed, and others like it, is a gift of the divine. A piece of the cosmic tree itself. It can grant great boons, and it allows you to set up a village and provide divine protection there. But if you wish for the life of a traveler, or if you are skilled enough to create another seed one day, this seed can be used to forge divine artifacts, or even bring back a comrade from the clutches of death. So one can't build villages without a seed, is that right? Indeed on fast. Without the seed or different means that other factions may possess, the village attracts the cursed light and is taken by it within days. And if somehow that does not happen, terrors of darkness will drive your folk insane. This is how it has been in fear for many centuries now. It is why we struggle still to survive just another day. Anything else I need to know? I may pop up now and again to tell you things, but for now, you must take your first steps into this hostile land. Remember to check for resources on the map for gathering. Set up camp for craft and cooking, and check your inventory to make sure you are well equipped. Here, have some wood, so you may heal when camping. My advice is to explore, learn the ropes, and only then decide on a settlement. Thanks for the advice. This is where your equipment, a character's equipment greatly influences how well they perform during challenges as well as what skills they use. Skills available to the character are either learned or gained from equipped items. How effective depend on their actions. For example, if a skill relies on perception, a character with a higher perception will be more effective with that skill. You can also assign any unused items to the people and improve their abilities. Don't go over a carry limit though, because if you do, they suffer penalties. So this is it. Yeah, this feels like a traditional RPG. Here's the info. This group allows you to manage your group's fuel, food and fuel usage. You can restrict specific side stock kinds or even decide to not allow any new food or fuel items they collect. Keep in mind that the more you, more kinds of food you have, the better the morale. High morale provides better bonuses and can restore replenish mental hit points, aka sanity. Morale bonuses panel shows you morale of all characters as a group from a class. This is interesting. Very interesting.
There's our menu with our inventory. This screen shows your people on the left and nearby resources on the right. To assign a character to a gathering task, select it and press A, and then press it again to assign a resource. It may take more than one turn, depending on your character's gathering skill value. Like this guy, for example, can fill like 102, and this one 100. Now we can decide on recipes. We can pick a recipe from the top. Then you can select materials from your inventory and press A to highlight one where it can be placed on primary and secondary. Materials provide essence, which unlocks skills. You can select a skill for the item. Some skills require essence. The more essence, the more powerful. Then you can preview your item. And then you can press A to add the recipe to the list. Remember, you need to assign villagers for the task. Designing. Design mode allows you to try any recipe you research and save it for a favorite use. Your inventory shows all your crafting materials present even those you not have. Feel free to experiment. That's all actually interesting. So that's how you do it. All right, so with that, let me set another task in motion. Or not. This is going to take a while for me. All right, that's another one. Rituals? Manage your equipment. You've encountered an event. Most events occur randomly at the end of a turn or while moving around. If an event is triggered in a group located on, la on land, other groups within six tile range join as well. You can select the view group when to see which events take part. Under each part, you'll see one or more possible responses. Some responses are only visible if your group meets a certain condition. If you see any of these, it means it leads to a fight, so read carefully. As the cosmic forces align under the sigil of the spirit world, it is traditionally the time of reverence for the deal, the All Souls Day, or Nadunzuki. During this period, it is the Lady of Death, Nyla, who is honored and revered, so that she may look well upon the souls of your departed loved ones and also your own soul one day. Creatures of the unit life and those driven by darkness are traditionally invited from, into homes for feasting and peace, although one must remain ever vigilant of those who break the rules. Praise Nylia. The old soul's day is at All Hallows' Eve. Learn more. 
Let us nod and get ready for the season of Nala's grace. How strange. There are different types of resources in the world. They can be used as crafted materials, food, or fuel. But before your people can use them, they use them to collect them. Move your group near a tile with a resource located no further than a hex away. Your group has to be in camp mode. Hmm. And also increases health recovery rate. By the water, let's try to find higher ground. Some debris walked up in the shores afterwards. That's only a measly two. This game's really different. Come on, really? They're attacking aggressively. Attack. Begin. Now we go to the good part. Start with playing cards from our hand on the battlefield. Press A to select a card, select a skill, and then select a slot. Here's how it works. Let's end the turn and see what happens. Oh yeah, you can't do much on your first turn. See how the enemy will react. I get.
I have three action tokens. He's just gonna keep on building up. Now it's resolving battle. That gotta be painful. You discover the ruins of an ancient human cemetery, one where burial was shown. Let's search the place, defend ourselves. Let's get to work on that. Set that. down Wow, this ain't going to be pretty. Let's see how the enemy will respond. These guys seriously need work. Oh, this ought to hurt.
This is really something. Well, we won that one. So, as tradition has it, your god sent me to guide your first steps on this new and bewildering island. To get us started, check what resources you have near you. There's a toggle right next to the mini-map. If you have food and wood, they are always good to stock up on. You need both to heal when camped, and you need a variety of foods to better heal your mental wounds and keep morale high. Oh, and do you know what it means that you are chosen? Good. Finally, my first task for you. Cook or find me some more food, please. To do it, set up camp and choose nice stone oven icon to cook. Later, you can also craft high tier 4 plus materials there or the basket to gather food from the land. This is making me hungry, so hurry up. Eat. Your wounds are too great, and so the gates of the underworld depart to take open and take your soul. <sighs> Sad day for us all. We ran out of materials. Well done! And here, one must have a good drink too. Now, the same way you cooked, you can also craft equipment and later buildings in your village. You can also design recipes to see how they will turn out. Oh, and if you make special food, you need to save for something. Or, more likely, you gather good wood or better food and you do not want it eaten or burnt. Make sure to exclude them. You will find a looking glass icon in your camp on the top left side. And don't forget to spend your research points. You can see your research tree at the top right corner. So, now that you have this sorted, I know of an abandoned house you can explore. Who knows what mysteries you will uncover there? Remember to check your inventory before you venture out. One of the characters gained enough experience to level up. Press stay on the character icon in the notification area to improve their abilities. Level ups alternate between bonuses to character stats and skills. Noted. Expedition inventory. This is really a lot to take in. I'll just refer to it as test. This is a game I'm gonna have a hard time with. Truly it is. Attribute for each character. Very good. Very good indeed.
as the fighting begins anew. And turn. Okay, that ends that turn too. Now let's see how they'll fare. Let's add a bit of a defensive mode. Yeah, sometimes you can't always be on the offensive. Sometimes you gotta take the defensive. All right, now let's begin the Mac resolving the battle. Nasty. This is a true test of attrition. I gotta hurt. That's the fight. Find Theodore's abandoned house. It is nestled amongst some trees and looks rather old. Inside, the place is surprisingly lived in and well taken care of. There is even a fireplace. You hear an old woman's voice croak at you. Well, 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 dinner guests. 
How splendid! Do come and stay forever! <laughs> there is no way out. The doors are gone. You will have to face this hag to escape. Fine. Guess we'll have to do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, it's one part RPG, one part card game. This is gonna get nuts. Let add some extra armor. And now the battle begins. Ooh, I gotta be painful. That's the end of that. The witch laughs. <laughs> you are nice. I won't eat you. In fact, here is a small gift before I go, Chosen. A package is left for you, and the hut changes back into an old, decrepit building. Wow. Theodore appears. Well done. Well done indeed. As Chosen, it is your job to stay alive. You must either dominate the lands or solve the Shattering's mystery or else all is lost. And for that, you must live. I shall be back soon to give you a final task. He disappears. Right. We gotta go one more fight. Now let's get started. We gotta give it our all here.
make sure I protect them no matter what it takes. This is gonna be a dicey ride. Now the second phase, that second battle. This game really is something. Bites the dust. Now the fight begins anew. Let's hope it counts. Because her team doesn't have much health left. Now comes the battle phase. takes care of them. Well, at least I can speed it up because I don't want it to get too warm. That's the end. ourselves plenty to level up on. And 
confirmed. And this is here in the advancement of resources. Now you spend any advancement points on new materials. Press these buttons, the un unlock cost is shown next to it. Materials and equipment recipes unlock in random once more to each playthrough, but you can see the details before you spend any advancement points. Each recipe requires that you unlock at least one par parent node that leads to it. Interesting. That's nuts. goes on we can actually get to work on well everything Attack me aggressively. We'll do one more fight and that'll do it. They're probably not gonna give out whatever fight, you know? Gotta keep going till we reach the end. Now let's see how the battle fares with everyone involved. That was simple. Now that you have had a little time to get your bearings, how about doing me and your gods a bit of a favor, eh? You'd have to go to a place and deal with some trouble. As you remember, to set up your first village, you will need to find the right spot and gather materials. Or you can just choose the life of a wanderer. But either way, there will come a time when the gods ask you to do battle, to solve the Shattering's mystery. For now, your job is to live long enough to face those challenges. Not very glamorous, I know. But listen, there is a small village of Slavians not far from here. I ask you to seek them out and help them out of their troubles if you so wish. A final rest from their heresy is not out of the question. But a peaceful resolution would suit us just as well. Your choice. Let us just say they do not follow the path of the gods, but have strayed into the arms of fallacy. Now, typically, our gods do not care, but the culprit was a chosen, like you. Thus, it is a case of teaching one a lesson. He only smiles. While wandering through the world of Thea, you will encounter research artifacts. They are sometimes acquired after winning challenges. Camping nearby a terrain artifact allows you to gather. Once it is complete, a resource will appear at that spot. If the gifted artifact doesn't appear in your inventory, you can find it on the research screen where you can assign people to carry it out. Terrain and creature artifacts unlock more, more entries.
Honestly, I could go on and on, but you kind of seem to get an idea of how this game is all about. And let me tell you, it's never easy. And yes, I have to put it as a test again. How they do this, I have no idea. But point is, this game is so very different and so out there. You should give it a shot. I don't promise you this, it won't be disappointed. Plus, with all these different things, it goes from being like an open-world RPG to a card game. And I'm a sucker for card games, so give the, give, the, give the game a shot. I'll provide a link where you can get it in the description. If you enjoyed this showcase, hit the like button. It means a lot. I got another one coming, so look forward to that. I'll see you guys next time. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out.